puny weakling. What did you call me? What do you think of that? Hey, what's up guys? Millskull here. Welcome back to Skyrim. Uh, special Edition Episode 7. When we left off, we made our way to Darkwater Crossing on our way towards Iverstead. Um, here's where we are now. Following the path, we've got some woods to go through. And we'll be in Iverstead. Yeah, we stopped here for a little break. Um, we also met some bandits along the way. Uh, I had a computer crash, which was lovely. And yeah, me and Lydia. I've got your back. Um, you don't say much, do you? Let's get going then. All right, she's just ready to kill. So let's go. <laughs> uh, yeah, could use a grindstone. Oh, there's an elk here. We just left their kill on the road. Wow, look at this place, Lydia. What do you think? Alright. Well, yeah, me and Lydia hung out there for a little bit. And we decided it's time to just hit the road. They don't have an inn. It's just a little mining camp. Now, look at the sign. Iverstead. Hopefully, we can make it to Iverstead before nightfall. What do you think, Lydia? Think we can do that? It's kind of a long walk. Man, these wolves, right? Lydia? You alright? Hmm. Wow. Look at that waterfall, Lydia. What do you think? It's pretty cool, isn't it? Why well, I wouldn't want to fall off this bridge. Alright, let's get moving. Down this road. Ah, it's unpaved. Looks like we're going up the hill. Man, I gotta get a view of this. See how easy I climb mountains, guys? Okay, I need... ...eyes on this formation, because I don't want to fall. Ooh! Holy cow, you can see so much. There's Darkwater Crossing, where we just came from. Um, hmm, let's see, up the road from there. I think that's that fort. We saw, and around the mountain over there would be... Well, around the mountain that way would be Windhelm. Or Whiterun. Jeez, Windhelm, Whiterun. Same thing, right? <laughs> Alright, let's go, Lydia. Yeah, there's some big mountains. This is one of them. Actually, that's one of them. Yeah, can we see? I don't think we could see Iverstead from here. Iversteads up this way? Hmm, huh. okay. Let's go, Lids. Hmm. The X of White Run is losing its power. It's alright. I think we'll be okay. Maybe I'll switch to bow for a bit. Did you 
get him. Hmm. Alright, let's continue Lydia. Lydia. Maybe I'll just keep the keep the axe going. I mean there's gotta be a way to recharge it, right? Actually, you know what? Could switch to the one-hander for a bit. I think that'll be all right. Snap leg cave. That place doesn't look creepy at all. <laughs> Boy, what a fence. Quality. Hey Lydia, hungry? Come on. <laughs> Man, let's get here already. I'm gonna start sprinting. I was hoping to get there by nightfall. Hello. They gone? Are you okay? Bandits attacked and ransacked my cart. Can you help me? Uh, I can. What can I do for? Or what can I do? My camp is nearby in the ruins of Nilheim. Get me there safely, and you'll be rewarded. All right. Huh? It looks okay. It's just across the bridge and up that hill. Ah, oh, no problem. Lydia, you coming? Hmm. Oh, We're if I close now, I can see the camp. I don't know if I trust this guy. Wait here. I'll be right back with your reward. All right. You picked a bad time to get lost, friend. Oh, really? <laughs> you just gonna stand there? Interesting. <laughs> yeah, they picked the wrong guy to mess with, I think. Oh, man. Sure glad we helped that guy out, though. Couple snowberries, couple carrots. Oh, man. Huh? Oh, is someone else talking? Hmm. What do you got, Telrav? Some money, some arrows. You can't hide from me. Who's hiding? Ah, found you. No one best an orc. What? Come on, Lydia. I bet she's in here. Or maybe. It's probably in here. Hmm. You puny weakling. What did you call me? What do you think of that? Puny weakling. Ah, <laughs> oh, yeah. That's how we do it. Right, Lids? Lids? Lydia? Man, these guys were pretty loaded, if I do say so. 
We weren't messing around. Lydia? Hmm. I hope she's alright. Ah, they always put it on the roof. But then again, they aren't that smart. There's some quality light armor. All right. Wasn't Lydia with me? Did she fall off the edge? Boots, clothes, iron war axe. Yeah, these guys didn't have nothing super special. Oh, there you are. Hey. Still here. All right, you okay? <laughs> Jeez. Oh, well, this is kind of a detour, I guess. A couple bandits. If they had known what's good for them, they'd uh, just led an honest life. Take your cabbages. Ooh. Freshly cooked. It's still hot. Is this... Just a knife? Okay. Alright, Lydia. We got some... Got some time to make up. Come on. Well, oh, not too shabby. So Iverstead's this way. It's getting pretty late. I better be careful in these woods. Hello. If you know any true sons and daughters of Skyrim, tell them to head to Windhelm. Over Stormcloak wants to see. All right. Well, I take it we're in Stormcloak territory. Can't trust any of these people. Hope you're a farmer for your own sake. I'm on my way to Windhelm to join up with the Stormcloaks. Ulfric has the right of it. All right. Oh, jeez! Scared the crap out of me. What, Lydia? Watch those arrows, you mad woman! It's just a wolf. That's what you do with wolves, Lydia. Jeez. I need to freak out. Well, you want some too, Wolfie? See? That's how you do it, Lydia. You give him a hug, and you just whack him with the axe right in, like, right in the stomach, ribs, liver area. <laughs> um, hey there. Hail, friend. It's good to see another merry soul enjoying this fine day. I am. Look at my axe. Ah, but you look tired. Come, share a bottle of hunting brew mead with me. Hmm. Uh, I would love to share a drink with you, friend. Ah, nothing like fine spirits to help raise your... Well, your spirits. Cheers, my friend. May your adventures find you fame and fortune. Oh wow. This guy just Alright. Hmm. Yes? Alright, well. Need something? No, nothing. 
Um, thank you for the hunting me hunting brew mead. Cheers. Let's do this while we're at it. Um, let's go health again. Can't have enough. Um, I think we'll try for heavy armor. That requires 30. That requires 30. I guess we can... Hmm. Let's go one-handed. Give it a little more oomph. Since we're using it, right? And for some reason, I think we're going to be using it instead of the Axel White run for a bit. Just so we can save some charge on it for a dungeon. That's yeah, getting awful late, Lydia. Hmm. Ever stood to the right. Let's try and hustle. What was that sound? Like I said, Lydia, this is bear country, so we gotta be extra vigilant. I think we're safe. By the gods, it's true, isn't it? A dragon has attacked White Rock. How could mere men bring down such a beast? Well, you haven't met me, buddy. All right. It's getting late, so we're gonna stay here, Lydia. Balmir Inn. Vilemire. Hmm. This has to be the worst place in Skyrim to run a mill. How am I supposed to do anything with all those bears running around? Anything you can tell me about High Hrothgar? The Greybeards stay away from me, and I stay away from them. Suits me just fine. All right, you're a very angry, angry woman. Just get out of my way. I've got work to do. I'll tell you, All right. If I could sweep her away from here tomorrow, I'd do it. But Klimek still has so much to learn. Klimek is doing just fine. These damn bears are driving me crazy. Perhaps one day. Hey, you told me to get out of your way. Hello there. We don't get many visitors through here, unless they're headed up to High Hrothgar, of course. Well, I am, actually. If I were you, I'd keep away from the barrow on the east side of town. Oh, you just had to say that, didn't you? Um, hmm. Tell me more about the barrow. There ain't much more to tell. They're haunted, and you should stay away. Look, I've seen one of the spirits with my very own eyes. When it glared at me, I, won't go I swear it burned ever. right through my soul. Hmm. Do the spirits haunt your town as well? Fortunately, they seem to be sticking to the barrow. I think they're guarding it. Certainly isn't helping my business any. Who'd want to rent a room anywhere near a haunted barrow? I see. I could investigate for you. If you think there's anything you can do, be my guest. Yeah, um... I'd like to rent a room. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. All right. I'll show you to your room. Right this way. Thank you, sir. Let me know if there's anything else you need. All right. Um, I think <laughs> I'm going to turn in for the night, Lydia. Uh, do whatever you want. So people just leave their money around. Whatever. Okay. I'm going to get an early start tomorrow, because so we have a long climb ahead of us. Ah, I feel so much better. How about you, Lydia? You all right? Pardon me, my lord. Would you care to hear me play my lute? Uh, sure, I'd love to. Music. Let me know. What do you play? 
I play the lute. If you'd like to hear something, it only costs five gold. Sure, I'd love to hear. Um. Now I'm not gonna be a cheapskate. Thank you, my lord. See, isn't that better? Wilhelm, you probably hear it every day. Lydia, what do you think? Are we gonna tear down the place? No? Okay, let's go. <laughs> you keep playing that song even if I go out the door. It's early, I know. It's all right. We've got a quite a climb. On your way up the seven thousand steps again, Clement? Not today. I'm just not ready to make the climb to High Rothgar. The path isn't safe. Aren't the Greybeards expecting some supplies? Honestly, I'm not certain. I've yet to be allowed into the monastery. Can you guys Perhaps look at each other day. when you're talking? Don't mind me. Um, passing through on your way to High Hrothgar? Yeah, I'm about he's... to make a delivery up there myself. Anything you can tell me about it? I've been to the monastery many times, but I've never even laid eyes on one of the Greybeards. Not that I'd care to. Hmm. Being masters of the Thum, they could kill you by uttering a single word. Well, it's... not that they would. They seem peaceful, but I wouldn't want to provoke them. Got it. Um, what times? What types of deliveries do you make to High Rothgar? Mostly food supplies like dried fish and salted meats. You know, things that keep fresh for a long time. Got it. The Greybeards tend not to get out much, if you catch my meaning. And in return? Well, it's kind of an understanding between us. I mean, it just wouldn't feel right to charge them for a bit of preserved food. Trouble is, my legs aren't what they used to be, and climbing the 7,000 steps takes its toll. All right, I can do it for you. Really? Well, that would be kind of you. Here, take this bag of supplies. At the top of the steps, you'll see the offering chest. Just leave the bag inside, and you're done. All right, anything I should watch out for during the climb? Well, there's the occasional wolf pack or stray, but that's all I've ever had to deal with. Shouldn't be a problem for the likes of you. Other than that, watch your footing. In these wintry conditions, the stairs can be treacherous. All right. Well, thank you, sir. Be careful up there. Sure will. And my friends, on that note, I want to thank you all for watching. I know this episode's a little short. Um, yeah, I, I want to leave the climb to its own episode. And we'll get to the top and we'll talk to the Greybeards. Um, but yeah, until then, thank you all and I'll see you all next time. Bye!